and it's also a pleasure for me to uh, attend this event, the second consecutive year. So I was also a uh, participant in last year's event. And I can see that the participation in this year's event is, uh, is also quite vibrant compared to uh, last year. A very good morning to all the gentlemen on the dais and all the dignitaries who have uh, you know, considered to participate in this event. And uh, all the uh, uh, participants from industry, uh, participants from uh, service sector, and participants from different uh, sectors uh, who have uh, taken their time off to come and attend this event. I also congratulate uh, W Media on uh, organizing this uh, because uh, we have been in talks uh, with them for uh, nearly a year. And uh, from the government side, it's it's highly important that we have an event uh, here which uh, focuses on uh, data centers and uh, which focuses on uh, cloud and data centers because we see this as a very important sector to develop in our state. Uh, we see this as a very important sector, uh, very important industry in which Tamil can focus on and in which Tamil uh, can actually get in a lot of investment from other states and as well as from other countries. So, uh, uh, having been in this sector for quite some time now, I can tell you that you know this uh, there is a lot of interest which comes from different uh, industries and different sectors to uh, telling their interest in uh, about inquiring about Chennai and how government can support. So, uh, also you know. Uh, uh, we, as some of you may know, uh, we have uh, our own data center policy, uh, which was released in uh, 2021, and uh, which has uh, several important incentives uh, for the development of the data center industry in uh, Chennai. Uh, Chennai has a lot of uh, very important uh, factors, which uh, uh, naturally give its advantage to being a big data center location in India. Uh, so, as you well, very well know, it has a large number of uh, submarine landing stations. And, um, and because of that, uh, as well as the uh, infrastructure requirements are immense to setting up a data center, for which also the government is ready to support, and the government has, has supported in a large way um, to you know, setting up data centers here. We at, uh, in fact, the airport, airport uh, is the electronics corporation of Tamil Nadu. So we run a lot of uh, special economic zones uh, all uh, around uh, Tamil Nadu in different uh, areas and different zones as well as uh, entire one cities, as well as entire two cities. And uh, in fact, uh, uh, from the Tamil Nadu side, we would like to promote data centers in uh, entire two cities. And uh, uh, as you very well know, uh, as, uh, we have around 1,200 to 1,300 acres of land bank available all over Tamil Nadu. And we invite uh, people who attended this event to come and approach Airport and set up your data centers there. So uh, we have uh, uh, incentives which are available in our data center policy to uh, uh, companies that want to come and set up business in our uh, tier two cities. Um, so in fact, uh, we give a lot of stamp duty concessions. We give a lot of uh, uh, electricity tariff concessions, uh, electricity tax concessions, tariff concessions of course decided by the Tamil Electricity Board. So uh, uh, I invite all of you to come and uh, utilize these uh, incentives that are here. Uh, there are uh, some conditions which are uh, put in the policy and uh, in fact, uh, in, when I'm interacting with uh, people from industry, uh, I find that uh, uh, the exact controls of the policy are not uh, uh, known properly to participants from industry. So I, uh, I suggest that uh, all of you, you know, have a look at the policy. Uh, some of the important uh, provisions are, uh, of course, you know, I can uh, go through in my uh, short talks here. But uh, uh, I want to lay out a large uh, uh, you know, principle here. The principle here is that you know the government is willing and government is largely very uh, uh, very much willing and very much inclined to support the setting up of this industry. So uh, we are willing to you know be in regular talks with you. Anyone who wants to uh, who who faces hurdles, who faces uh, any issues in setting up uh, data centers and uh, PN in any case, uh, is willing is uh, uh, you know you are you are you can approach me anytime. We will hand for you. We will support you and we will help you navigate different uh, government departments. So on this, I can give you a strong commitment from my side personally and also from the side of Elkhart. So uh, uh, because having participated in this uh, conference, in this summit for two years now, so I can uh, tell you that uh, I, I know uh, kind of, you know, I know the pulse of the crowd and I know what uh, you may be thinking that, uh, you know, it is kind of difficult to uh, get the incentives. We don't know where to approach, whom to approach, what to do. So uh, uh, that is why I know I'm laying out the solution. You can uh, come and approach any time, and uh, uh, we will guide you through this process. We will uh, help you set up. And in fact, uh, uh, Ambattur in Chennai is uh, coming up as a big uh, location for setting up uh, data centers. 
and um, uh, uh, I understand that uh, power requirements and infrastructure requirements um, uh, it's, a, it's, it's a concern because data center as an industry requires a lot of power but uh, we have made up a data center policy as well that uh, data center can be a separate category in respect of planning requirements so as far as the compared to combined building rules is concerned so uh, this is in part uh, to incentivize setting up of uh, uh, power uh, uh, you know power infrastructure in, uh, in certain areas where data centers can be uh, continuously located so this is also something that uh, you know we are uh, we are laid out in policy wise so we are doing we are taking out all efforts here and uh, in fact uh, elcot also runs uh, data centers so um, uh, we also uh, uh, some of um, some people here may be involved in uh, you know, running those data centers as well. So, Airport runs data centers as well as a disaster recovery center in Trichy. So, we also have a special economic zone in Trichy where we have quite a lot of land available. From There is a government has a lot of uh, land available. And uh, I suggest that uh, uh, participants here, uh, you explore the uh, setting up of a data center in Trichy as well as in other type of cities. So, Tirunelveli, we have uh, uh, land banks there. Madurai, we have uh, land there, and in fact, uh, from the uh, Tamil government side, we have just recently announced that Elcot will set up uh, tan tech cities, Tamil technology cities in uh, Hosur. Hosur is uh, coming up as a big location, um, uh, and in fact, I see a lot of interest um, in, in in a lot of industries. They want to come and uh, set up uh, you know, their business there in Hosur. So we are uh, Elcot will establish a tan tech city in uh, Hosur. Uh, very soon, it's, uh, we are doing a lot of work on that trend and we will establish it uh, very soon. And uh, we are also setting up another IT park in Chengalpattu, which is uh, in suburban Chennai. And uh, uh, so, uh, I am, you know, these are, these are all very prime opportunities for all of you. So, this is all very, very land plans. This is not, uh, you know, uh, you, we want to set up a data center, you need to, you know, take land, you need to, you know, scout for land, you need to scout for infrastructure requirements. We need to scout for the uh, road facilities and everything. But uh, as far as our tantric cities are concerned, as far as our scriptural economic zones are concerned, everything is available to you. There, are, there will be no litigations as far as the land is concerned. There are, uh, there are ready land plans, conscious land plans. We can negotiate, we can uh, facilitate you setting up a data center there. Secondly, uh, most of our uh, special economic zones have uh, um, uh, separate uh, uh, power stations. So, uh, uh, there would be uh, uninterrupted power, it will be given preference to by the Tamil Electricity Board, the supply power. So, that also will not be a concern. Compared to you setting up in a private area where uh, there would be power, uh, I am not saying that there are infrastructure problems, uh, um, uh, power problems everywhere, there would of course be power. But uh, here there are special advantages to you setting up uh, uh, facilities there. So, I don't need to, I don't, uh, you know, uh, interview this as a marketing opportunity. I'm not, uh, I don't, uh, you know, I didn't go on this topic because I want to market my own uh, IT parks. I just came up in the course of my, uh, you know, talk here. I don't, we don't need to market, so because it's government land, there are a lot of uh, demand. I just uh, intend to say this as a um, uh, information to you so that, you know, you can use this as an opportunity. And also, you know, of course, uh, it is uh, part of a responsibility from the government side to promote their setting up of data centers here. Uh, so, we are very much uh, concerned that uh, data centers should also go to other areas of uh, Tamil Nadu. It should not be um, uh, very, we are very much, we are very excited to have a lot of data centers in Chennai. But uh, we also want to promote uh, setting up of uh, such centers in other type of cities. And I encourage all of you to use Elbert's facilities for uh, that. Because uh, we can also help you navigate other departments of government for you to get, up, get all the uh, uh, requisite uh, clearances and all. And also secondly, uh, I also want to, uh, you know, touch upon this topic. Um, we have a data center policy. Uh, some companies have come ahead and used the subsidies that are available there. Uh, so uh, we uh, have specifically, we have separate process, but uh, you know, one of the tasks, for example, is uh, specifically looking at uh, investments of more than uh, 500 crores and above. So data centers that have investments of uh, more than that uh, are uh, eligible to get uh, stamp duty concessions and uh, several other such concessions. So uh, uh, even though several companies have used, one point of concern to us from the side of uh, the government is that uh, uh, we want more companies to come ahead and uh, use these uh, incentives that are there in, that, uh, in our policy. Uh, because uh, it is there, uh, you know, the subsidies are available, the, uh, the facilitation is available, 
but we don't see that much uh, uh, effort or that much interest in approaching airport from the uh, private industry side. And that is why I congratulate uh, W Media as well for organizing this event. Because uh, this is a great opportunity for all of you to uh, meet us, network, get to know our site, get to know uh, what is our, uh, get to know our interest in uh, facilitating all of you and uh, talk to talk to all uh, and have a common discussion. Also, I would like to say that you know we are uh, uh, the IoT here. I have also asked W Media to uh, send the uh, deliberations that happen during the course of the day, during the uh, entire event and uh, the important uh, points or important opinions that are expressed by different, uh, you know, different participants in this industry. So uh, everything would be cut down, everything would be listed up, and it will be sent to us. And uh, we would also, you know, we are, the policy on a government level is, is something which is continuously changed. So it is not static. So we would uh, like to continue working on this. So um, uh, please, uh, you know, we have personal interactions also. Please, you know, tell us your opinion about where you would like the government to support you. And uh, we would implement this in policy, we would sit at the government level, we would, uh, the, the minister, me and other, uh, you know, participants in uh, this industry would work in, in this sector, would work together. And we would implement your suggestions, we would uh, also implement them. I give you this assurance that uh, every every discussion, every uh, every discussion, every opinion that you have, everything that you tell us, would be constantly incorporated in the government policy. I, I give you this assurance personally myself. And uh, lastly, uh, I also, uh, uh, you know, I also would like all of you to come ahead and, uh, you know, uh, address us, uh, uh, address us on where you would like uh, uh, us to change or where you would like us to support you, with your support or which area in Chennai you, you want to uh, uh, build as an other alternative data center, uh, you know, data center location. Or uh, we also, you know, uh, another important point that I left out was uh, we would like to promote the use of alternative energy in uh, uh, setting up data centers. And uh, in fact, uh, uh, we ourselves have plans to, uh, in, uh, to you know, have an incentive kind of structure so that uh, green data centers are promoted. So uh, uh, you are all welcome to address us in that aspect as well. Uh, so I don't, I don't want to, you know, bore you with uh, more details about uh, our data center policy. Uh, you know, it's all a lot of uh, provisions, a lot of uh, rules and a uh, lot of, uh, you know, different uh, calibration is there. I uh, leave it to all of you and your, you know, uh, staff to look into the details and approaches. Uh, I leave you with this broad, uh, you know, uh, outline that uh, we are approachable. We are here to uh, hear your, uh, you know, hear your voice. I wouldn't say grievances because uh, Chennai is already a big uh, location for setting up data centers. So that's why I don't use the word devices. We are here to hear your voice. And we are here to hear your voice to support and incentivize the development of this industry more. Uh, thank you very much for inviting me to this uh, great event, to meet all of you, and on this beautiful morning, on this very energetic morning, to talk to all of you, and uh, among this very elite and very uh, uh, established crowd. Thank you very much.